All right, so today we're gonna get started on the fenders. I'm gonna start on the back side and just like take off all this like everything, <laughs> rust, paint, uh, sealant, and road grime tar. I just got this assortment of wire wheels to do most of the work. You get the idea, I don't think you need me to show you eight hours of me working on one fender. But that's how I'm gonna do the fenders. I'm gonna start off with a wire wheel. All right, so here's where I am so far. All along here, I've taken it down. Pretty much the bare metal, cause that stuff flaked off really easily. Over here, this undercoating really didn't flake off too easily, just with the wire wheel. So I left that on. I got all in the fender well in there, got all the rust off, I did the bucket in there, and in here, in crevices like that, that's where that um, fast edge is really going to shine, in crevices where you can't reach to sand and use your wire wheel, you spray that fast edge, it converts the rust, you wipe it clean, and it takes care of that, given that, you know, that's just like surface rust, it's not like anything that's that's through the metal or anything. Um, everywhere there was a, where there was surface rust, the wire wheel kind of just knocked it away all along this edge, you know. The red is just like the original primer or rust preventer. This is the underside of the fender. So as long as I treat it for rust so it doesn't come back, I'm okay with leaving this stuff on, but so. The more you clean it as you go, the better chance of, you know, everything adhering to it. Okay, so now that I cleaned it up pretty good, got my Eastwood Fast Edge, Acid Base, Rust Remover, and Metal Prep. So, so in the areas where it's bare metal, you're going to give it a spray, a coat, and... You're not supposed to let this stuff dry. Which the weather right now is nice. It's overcast. And it's not sunny. It's a little overcast, so it won't evaporate quickly. So I'll, I'll spray the whole thing. In 10 minutes, I'll respray it and make sure it's still wet. And then, you know, go on like that. Places like inside here, where, like I said before, you can't reach in into sand and stuff. This, you know, it's liquid, so you spray it in, and it gets into all the little nooks and crannies, and it pulls everything. All right, so here we are. Uh, see how that shiny metal that was all scuffed up is now turned into this like grayish color that's the zinc phosphate coating that the fast edge leaves and you'll see it everywhere where it's bare metal and the parts like here where it was uh, rusted and stuff or had surface rust it's gone and it's turned to that color so that's what we're looking at now and now I'm just gonna neutralize that that coating with the fast edge with uh, some acetone and I'll just be using that to like wipe everything clean. And then I'll use that rusting cups later. So just keep wiping it acetone until, until your panel feels smoother and clean. Well, I realize that these aren't like lint free cloths or anything. This is just one of the cleaning steps. All right, now I'm just gonna scuff up this undercoating just so that the rust encapsulator has something to grip onto. So 
Um, all right, now that the fast edge is all cleaned up, and I scuffed up the, the old primer and the old and the old uh, undercoating, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my my rust encapsulator. Shake it up again. Yeah, shake it up. I'm also gonna stir it. There's no mixing with this. You just roll it on, spray it on, or or brush it on. Just want to make sure that it's uh, thoroughly mixed. I'm not gonna get my spray gun out for this. I'm just gonna use a. I'm just gonna brush it on. And I'm using a foam brush. Shook it up, mix it up, and then you're just gonna paint it on. So I feel that by using the wire brush to get rid of all the surface rust, treating the metal with the fast edge, and then applying this to it, should give it plenty of rust protection for the future. That's coat number one. I'm gonna get in here and just kind of pour it in, let it let it drip so it goes under that rail. And I'll get my brush all up under there on the next coat. Yeah, pretty much that's uh, coat one. I'm gonna let this flash for a little bit, then I'll apply a second coat just to make sure I get complete coverage. And you can actually leave, leave this stuff on the way it is, like after you let it cure and stuff because it is UV resistant. All right, now I got two coats on this thing. So it's all covered. And it's been about 24 hours, so it's not tacky anymore. I can still tell where it needs that full 48 hour window to completely cure and stuff. But, you know, it's not gonna like run off or or anything like that now. So. It, it's dry but not cured so i'm going to start working on the front side and so the front side you can tell same issues just surface rust surface rust because this these the whole car was sanded at some point and you know they burned through the paint and layers of primer and it was less left exposed but on the front side i'm going to take it down completely down to bare metal so I'm going to use the stripping discs. I don't want to stay on one spot too long because these do tend to get the metal really hot if you stay on one spot too long. That can actually cause it to warp. That's why I'm not like digging deep and just like keep moving, keep moving and doing it a couple passes at a time. <laughs> All right, and there it goes so far, down to bare metal. Yeah, you get the idea. You gotta rough it up with the with the stripping wheel, do the whole thing, and then I'll finish it off with the sander and get that down to bare metal. Then I'll hit it with that fast etch. All right, and there is the whole front side of the fender it's bare metal pretty shiny like all these little spots where you see where it's like red that's from the old primer those are all like low spots you know there's some high spots but I'm not worried about that right now right now what I'm worried about is stripping it down to bare metal so I can get this uh, fast stitch on it I'm gonna move it over to the shade because it's pretty hot in the sun right now. It's pretty bright. I'm just gonna clean it one more time. I just get all that dust off. Any fingerprints that I have money left on there. Oh no, it's working there. I'm gonna give it a clean. Spare 
fast that. in here, some little spots. I'm going to make sure I work it in there too. And I'm just going to work it into that pitting. acetone to deactivate it and clean up all the excess all right and that's what we end up with it's a completely stripped it's been treated with the acid edge and you can see how it's not shiny anymore it's got that dull finish that's from the sink coating that the acid edge leaves behind i already cleaned off the excess fast edge with um with acetone and now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spray it down with some epoxy, but I'm still gonna clean it again with a uh, wax and grease remover, remover right before I spray it. So, see. All right, so I got my teeth with epoxy primer. This stuff you wanna shake up real good. Got the epoxy primer activator. This is the 50 state legal formula, low VOC. And this is a one-to-one -one formula. So one part epoxy primer, one part activator. All right. Let me get this thoroughly mixed up. Got my spray pattern. That looks pretty good to me. Final cleaning of wax and grease remover.
So here it is, all done. And keep in mind, I still got body work to do. This was just to treat the rust and to get some epoxy on the front and to get some uh, rust encapsulator on the back side. But from here, I can take my time, get these dents out one by one and uh, get working on this. But yeah, it's covered in epoxy. And I just gotta do the same thing for the passenger side. Treat the rust, uh, epoxy on the front, rust encapsulator on the back. And this driver side fender was actually the worst of the two. The passenger side was a lot better than this. Less, den less dense and less uh, surface rust. All right, well, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching.